Hey and welcome! Today we're making a rice and cabbage dish introduced to me by one of my close friends from Ahmedia. And so in Badini it's called Brinjab Kalam. And traditionally it's made with white cabbage, but one of my aunts gave me the idea to make it with red cabbage instead. I love the result, so I decided to share the recipe with you. Now let's get started with the ingredients we're going to need. Here I have some short grain rice, red cabbage, and you can of course use white cabbage instead and keep it traditional. You'll need whole sumac berries for this dish, ground sumac will work too, some salt to taste, and a good amount of oil. I'm using olive oil and for all the exact amounts and substitutions, check the description box. Start with soaking your sumac in some boiling water. And here's something that some of you might already know about sumac and the temperature of your water. But for those who don't, putting sumac in hot water has a tendency to turn the water pink. And as a result, using that to cook with can give a pink tone to your food. For this dish, that's obviously not going to be an issue. But if you don't want your sumac water to make your food pink, read in the description box how you can avoid that from happening. Okay, now that you've set your sumac water to the side, go ahead and saute your red cabbage in some oil on high heat. You'll need a generous amount of oil so your rice doesn't turn out too sticky. And you also want to go ahead and add your salt to taste at this point. You want your cabbage to wilt down and then you want to take it one step further and get it partially caramelized. This will take about 10 minutes or so. Use a lid to speed up the process of wilting down the cabbage if you want to, but just remember to stir things around every now and then. Once you've reached the stage where your cabbage is wilted down and you have a good caramelization going, you want to go ahead and pour your sumac water in with your cabbage and bring it to a boil. Use a sieve to catch the sumac berries. Taste the broth to see if you need any more salt. And when you've reached a boil, go ahead and add your washed rice. I didn't soak mine ahead of time, but I did wash it thoroughly until the water ran clear. You can soak it if you want to for about 20 to 30 minutes, but just remember to use less water when you go ahead and cook it. Stir your rice and cabbage mixture until the rice has absorbed enough water where it starts to look a bit dry. That's when you want to turn the heat down to low and cook this covered for about 20 minutes or until your rice is tender. You want to go in and stir your rice only once, about halfway through the cooking process. And when you're done, go ahead and serve this alongside your favorite green salad or a spread of veggies and herbs on the side. This rice dish is supposed to be slightly tart from the sumac, but you can of course adjust that by adding less or more sumac depending on what you like. And now I'm not saying that this replaces dolma or iprah in any way, shape or form, but if you were ever looking for the quickest and simplest way to make something that could take care of your craving without putting in all that work, this is it, trust me. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. I hope to see you on the next one.